what if? You never have to sleep again. Just imagine the whole world waking up and never lying down again. Eight extra hours every single day, an entire third of your life suddenly handed back to you. Think about that. Would that be humanity's greatest upgrade or maybe our biggest mistake? On paper, it sounds amazing, right? No sleep, more time to work, more time to play, more time to binge cat videos until the heat death of the universe. Did you know the average person spends about 26 years asleep? 26 years. Gone. If sleep vanished, you'd get those decades back. That's like living another childhood or having time for an entire second career. Picture it, cities that never shut down. Night and day just melting into one continuous rhythm. Schools running 24-7. Restaurants that never close. Planes, trains, factories. All of it running without pause. The global economy? In theory, it could even double. Sounds perfect, right? But hold on. That's just the fantasy of endless productivity. And it makes you wonder, what happens when no one ever pauses? When everyone runs all the time? Here's the truth. Sleep isn't wasted time. It's maintenance. While you dream, your brain sorts memories. It decides what to keep and what to throw away. It clears out toxic proteins that build up while you're awake. The glymphatic system? Think of it like a dishwasher for your brain. It flushes cerebrospinal fluid through neural tissue. It rinses the brain clean. Your immune system uses sleep to reset and recharge. Your metabolism rebalances. Your hormones stabilize. Even your emotions depend on it. People deprived of sleep become anxious. They get irritable. They become impulsive. Without this nightly reset, your body and mind would slowly collapse, no matter how many extra hours you gained. So let's push it further. A deeper what if. Not just skipping sleep, but actually evolving past the need for it. Maybe our brains learn to clean themselves while awake. Or maybe nanobots take over the repair job for us. What happens then? At first, the possibilities feel dazzling. Productivity would skyrocket. Artists could create through endless nights. Scientists could accelerate discovery. Gamers could play forever, but sooner or later, we'd burn out. Because sleep isn't just about biology, it's about rhythm. That natural pause that gives shape to our days. Without it, time would feel endless, but also strangely flat. And what about inequality? If only the wealthy had access to sleep replacement nanobots, they'd gain an extra third of life. They could easily outpace everyone else. Imagine job postings that quietly read, sleepers need not apply. A sleepless world wouldn't be fairer. It might actually be harsher. Here's the thing. Sleep doesn't just repair us. It also protects us. Night is the universe's way of telling us, slow down, take it away, and we'd be living in constant acceleration. Energy use would spike, resources would vanish faster. Animals depend on light and dark. Plants stretch and fold with the sun, and humans were wired the same way. Our circadian rhythms are tied to Earth's rotation. Take away sleep, and you're unraveling a rhythm older than humanity itself. And what about dreams? They're not just random movies playing in your head. They're thought experiments, creativity engines, emotional rehearsals. Without dreams, would we lose imagination itself? Would we stop inventing songs, stories, and symbols? And yet, some scientists are already exploring this idea. The military has tested stimulants like modafinil, Soldiers staying awake for days at a time. Others studied polyphasic sleep, slicing rest into tiny chunks just to squeeze out more hours. Now, there are even brain stimulation devices aiming to compress eight hours into just two or three. So maybe sleep won't disappear. Maybe it just becomes flexible. 
something you choose, like charging your phone, top up when you need it, skip when you don't. But ask yourself, would we really want that? Or would society turn sleep into just another competition? A badge of weakness, a liability, something only the unproductive indulge in. If sleep were optional, sure, we'd gain more hours than ever before. But maybe we'd lose the very thing that makes life feel whole. Because sleep isn't wasted. It's a design feature of being human. One we might not want to uninstall. It's when your brain cleans. When your body heals. When your imagination plays. So the next time you drift off, remember. It isn't lost time. It's your body's nightly miracle. A hidden engine making waking life possible. Maybe sleep isn't humanity's weakness. Maybe it's our most underrated superpower. And maybe the universe already knew this. Because even stars need the dark to shine. It's not because rivers are confused, and it's not because the land is especially wiggly. In fact, even on perfectly flat land, rivers still curve. On purpose. Kind of. You see? Rivers usually start kind of straight, especially up in the mountains, where water races downhill. But all it takes is one tiny bump, a rock, a tree, a weird lump in the dirt and the flow gets nudged to one side. And once a river bends, something interesting happens. The water on the outside of the bend moves faster and erodes the bank. The water on the inside moves slower and drops sand and mud. So what happens? The bend gets bigger and bigger and, you guessed it, wigglier. This creates a kind of feedback loop Curves cause faster flow on the outside, which causes more erosion, which makes the curves even curvier. Eventually, the river becomes a full-blown spaghetti noodle. Scientists have tested this by letting water flow through flat, sandy boxes. No trees, no bumps, just water and gravity. And even then, meanders still happen. Because rivers aren't just chaotic, they're efficient. On the other hand, some rivers do stay kind of straight, like man-made canals, or rivers in rocky canyons, or ones that haven't had time to get twisty yet. But left alone long enough, almost every river will squiggle.